Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, because the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector is here. But before we look at our figure, we'll look at the packaging. Give it a good minute. To look at this figure in all its glory. Ten, maybe twenty seconds. Okay. It's been past twenty seconds, so we're gonna get on to looking at the box. Here we got a nice product shot of the Power Rangers Zio Cog on the box. Power Rangers Lightning Series Collection, Zeo Cog. And these figures came out in 19... The original figure came out in 1990... The 1990s. So this is an old cartoon, an old live-action series as of this year. So, yeah, Power Rangers is roughly... 24 years old today. But this is based on the 1990s, Zero Ranger Cog. Got a nice product shot of the Cog on the box. Nice product shot of him and in all his glory. Warning information, all that, Hasbro. That's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at the figure itself. This figure looks pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. It looks like it just came out of the cartoon. He has his weapon staff. I don't know what they called these when the cog used them. But yeah. He does have an interchangeable head gimmick. So we're going to show off the secondary head. If I can get this to come off without breaking. I might have to do it off camera. I wasn't going to do it on camera. And we can put in the blast helmet. If I can get it to work. I can get it to work. Might do that off camera because it's not wanting to work with me here. But here he is with the optional head where he can blast things. Yeah, his face opens up and he's got blaster eyes. Oh, that's cool. That's all there's to say for the blaster head. We're going to give him back his original head. And it's not one to cooperate with me on camera. With reattaching the heads. But yeah, you unscrew it like moving the head and it loosens up the head so you can pull it off and switch heads. I found that trick out myself. But now we're going to look at the other accessories. Get another cog staff. We get the uh, Zeo Ranger Blue Rangers weapons. Which I do not own, but we got the weapons for them. Isn't that cool? That's all I say for weapons. They just don't move around much. He gets an alternate pair of hands. He gets a grasping hand. And a fist. They so go fist bump some, something. But now we're going to look at the articulation of this figure. Hmm bend at the knee ankle tilt ankle bends no ankle tilt it does with the other leg but it's really tight on my copy I might have to loosen up a little bit elbow bend yeah it's really tight on my copy I'll tell ya Thing is trying to loosen it up on camera. But I'm not going to risk breaking it. It's a brand new figure. I'm not going to risk breaking it. But if you're wondering what we can do with the extra cog staff, we can give it to the 1980s, 1990s cog. He can have a weapon and be like, 
take down the Zeo Rangers. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, here he is next to the 1990s Zeo Ranger Cog. New versus old. This is better looking to the TV show. This is pretty good for a 1990s figure. And speaking of 1990s, we got the 1990s Zeo Ranger Gold Ranger from Power Rangers Zeo. This is a vintage figure. And another, this is the Legendary Collection. Zeo Ranger 5, red. And we own four Power Rangers Zeo action figures. Do I recommend these if you like Power Rangers? Yes. Power Rangers are awesome. They kick butt. They take names. And they're just cool looking figures. And I would highly recommend you pick up a Zeo Ranger cog while they're still in stock at like... Amazon or something, because I doubt they'll be in stock at Ross right now. But I do highly recommend him. He is awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.